Good morning. One uh, more word about Timothy. And I, I love this. This is beautiful. It's affectionate. And it shows the connection between him and Paul. In Philippians 2, we read 19 through 21. I want to pick up in verse 22. And we've seen Timothy as a selfless representative of the apostle to the Philippians. And so he's, he's remember, like-minded with Paul. He's, he's representing the heart of Paul to them. So we pick up in verse 22. But you know, Paul says to the Philippians, but you know Timothy's proven worth. How as a son with a father, he has served with me in the gospel. I hope, therefore, to send him just as soon as I see how it will go with me. And I trust in the Lord that shortly I myself will come also. Can he possibly commend Timothy more than he's commending him here? This is one of the clearest commendations that the Apostle Paul ever gives. And he gives a number of them. But that, that it's, it's right embedded in that how as a son with a father, as a son with a father... Um, he, he has served with me in the gospel. It, it makes me ask the question, what does that mean? How does a son serve with a father? And I'm just going to highlight, I'm just going to mention four, four ways that I think a son serves with a father. The first one is uh, a son is teachable in regard to his father. A son that honors his father is teachable. Timothy was willing to be apprenticed to Paul. And that willingness to be apprenticed to Paul helped Timothy be a better minister. Who are you apprenticing to? Who are you allowing to teach you? Who are you allowing to mentor you? Um, it'll pay dividends in your future, and it's essential for your present. Secondly, he was uh, out of teachable. He was submissive. He was submissive. I mean, this goes all the way back to his willingness to be circumcised. I'm not suggesting <laughs> that that translates into relationships in your present. What I am suggesting is that Timothy saw himself as submissive to Paul. And that allowed Paul to be able to feel like he could really send Timothy as someone who would represent him well. Third, a son to a father is supportive. Um, a, a son loves his father and supports his father and longs to see his father succeed and longs to support the, the larger vision that his father has. Timothy, teachable, submissive, supportive. And he's sending him in large part uh, for a fourth reason, and that is because Timothy is diligent. Timothy will care and he'll care well. Timothy will work hard. Timothy is not lazy. These four things make me think of how a good son support uh, connects with the 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 uh, and comes under and um, honors his father by representing him well. He is teachable, he is submissive, he's supportive, and he's diligent. And it seems like Timothy has those things. That's why he can say he has served me in the gospel. A selfless heart Timothy has, and a servant oriented heart. As he, we're getting these examples right. Of, of humility is really what he's doing. He's talked about humility uh, in the first part of chapter two. He showed the ultimate example of Jesus. He talked a little bit more about how that leads in community life to mutual sacrifice, to not grumbling and complaining. And now he's going to say, there's two guys. I can send you Timothy. And he's then next he'll talk about Epaphroditus. And these guys know what it is to live in such a way that humility is exuded where they have a selfless heart and a servant's heart. That's the case with Timothy in verse 19 through 24. A selfless heart and here a servant's heart. And that servant's heart again is teachable, submissive, supportive, and diligent. May God help us to follow their example and link up together so that we can serve the king adequately. Take care.